adventurous oh wizard God. looking Nathan. for the out of the ordinary taste. One need to look no further than Bertie Bart's every flavour beans. Ooh, sardines. I help make anything get asked to stand out. I because I'm a good boy. I'm a good big boy. (coughs) Vomit. Try baked beans. <laughs> I can't go no further. Maybe pepper. Can I smell? Yeah, you can smell, smell the pepper. Mama, me pepper, I know beans yours. It smells like a book. It yep. just smells like a book. Grass. That bug is so stinky and smelly. That smells like a book. Mom, what's this one? What's this orange one? Don't waste your twelve ninety nine. It just smells like a book, except for the vomit and the earwax and sardine. Liver. It smells like a book. Maybe you need to scratch really hard. Yeah, you probably do. Cinnamon. Oh, it's just the vomit that smells. <laughs> I still say sardine and the oax smells. Oh. There's a random jelly bean in the corner. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it should be eliminated. Oh, it's a bogey. George swears he got a bogey flavored one once. George wasn't lying. Besides bogey, there's a few acts involved. As Elvis Dumbledore later attests. Chocolate frogs. Scratch and savor those chocolate frogs. So they're not frogs. scratching its butt. The chocolate frogs are so It just yummy. smells bad, like a bad book. Like a bad book? Ew. Yeah, that's gross. Harry also picked up his first chocolate frog from Honey Duke's Express Trolley. These aren't real frogs, are they? Harry asked nervously. It's just a spell, Ron said. Besides, it's the card you want. Each pack's got uh, a famous witch and wizard. Uh, <laughs> Harry opened up the pack and the chocolate frog leapt from the box mm, out the mm, train window. Mm, <laughs> That's mm, rotten luck, mm, Ron mm, said with a sigh. Mm, <laughs> They only got one good jump to begin with. (laughs) It's turning Irish. (laughs) Ooh, good scratch and save of the candies. Licorice ones. Smells like black licorice. That's not all. The Honeyduke's Express Charlie is filled with cold coins and confections. Ron was enticed by a licorice wand on the trolley in his fourth year before deciding it due to the high price against it. Ron did buy a packet of Drupal's best blowing gum. Oh, just the Drupal's. Just the Drupal's. It's bubble gum. Smells like horse poop bubble gum. So glad I'm not a witch or wizard. Oh. Lots of other fruity spe- sweets can be found on the trolley, mm. including the succulent fizzing whizbies. These chocolate mm. fizzy fruits actually buzz in your mouth. <coughs> Let's give it a taste. <coughs> Blah. It all smells like horse poo. Smell it. Like horse poo, 
Ooh, how could you eat that fizzy Wisby? Go for buzzing sweet is what you're after. Don't overlook the fudge flies. Besides yeah. fruity sweets, the trolley yeah. also sells savory snacks. Harry developed a crush on Cho Chang after sharing a smile with her at the Honey Duke's Express Trolley in the fourth year. Cho ordered two pumpkin pasties to split with her friends. No, it seemed Harry would have rather split them with her. These tiny baked pies have a heavenly pumpkin filling that's irresistible. Let's taste the pumpkin pasty. Smells like pumpkin spice. Probably the best flavor of the book. Chocolate and dynamite, a classic combination. Exploding bonbons are sure to add a bit of excitement to a regular day and perhaps a way to shake off any sleepiness first thing in the morning. Let's see how exploding they are. Oh, exploding in my nose. A treat fit for Fred and George Weasley. Acid pops, sure to give you heartburn. <laughs> Can double as a practical joke since it only takes a few licks to burn a hole in one's tongue. Those who fall prey to acid pops can be fixed up by a quick trip to Madame Pomfrey. Though they'll likely be what? Yeah, probably tastes like vanilla. Um. They'll be likely to be a bit skeptical of any sweets they're offered in the future. Those tricky twins. Let's smell the acid. Oh, smells like... Smells like green apple a bit. Much like acid pops, they're more than a few sweets at Honeydukes. That one that must consume with caution, like the fiery black pepper imps. Ooh, these fiery little treats are one of the hottest sweets around, literally. <coughs> During Ron and Hermione's first visit to Hogsley, they brought back a stash of Honeyduke sweets including Papa Imps to share with Harry, who wasn't able to go on the trip when his ears blew out. Be careful though, Ron warned about a second late. They'll make you... Whoa! I have a bedroom right there. Right there. Right there. Whoa, it smells right like... Chinese food. Spicy Chinese food. <coughs> Another dangerous confection that nearly got rid of Harry were oh, licorice no. maps. These feisty black licorice flavoured nibblers were left in a bowl oh, oh. with Professor Dumbledore. Dumbledore. <laughs> oh, father me, I have a stuffy nose. Oh, but Professor Dumbledore's office. Harry, do you feel free to indulge in a little, little, little licorice snap in my absence? But I have to warn you, they, they're a wee bit sharp. Let's smell. They smell like black licorice. So if you like that smell, you love this book. Wait, <coughs> wait, I think it's because, look, if you look closely, there's a, there's a, there's a circle right over here. Yeah, so that is the scratch and sniff sticker. Can you smell it? it smells like black licorice. Black. I like black licorice. Oh, you do? Dumbledore was very fond of many sweets. His favorite was sherbet lemons. 
They were even a password to his office. Papa, Papa, I don't Very like lemony. Them. They Papa, do smell I good. I need to, I don't need mm, I like it. It smells like lemonade. Yes, lemonade. Of course, Dumbledore wasn't the only one interested in a unique flavor. After traversing the passageway under the one-eyed witch from Hogwarts to Honeydukes in his invisibility cloak, Harry nicked a very unique sweet from Neville Longbottom. Blood fame flavored lollipop. Sorry, I sound like Dracula. What, you can't smell it? Why not? No? Maybe the next page. I guess they couldn't get blood flavored smell. Any Hogwarts student who leaves a little pick me up during an afternoon class knows how to break out a sugar quill. Perfect for sneaking a taste while pretending to think extra hard about a difficult exam question. Just don't devour the whole thing before the exam is complete. Help, help, help. I wonder why. No. I'm oh, smells delicious. I'm Sugary. I'll try to smell up here. They're not. They're not going to smell like oranges. Well, which is it? Wizards. We shall smell that in a bit. For witches and wizards who like their sweets That's with a bit of wiggle, try jelly slugs. These colorful gummy sweets slide right down your throat. If only these were the kind of slugs Ron had conjured with his Eat Slugs curse second year. Let's smell. Well, actually, these are wizards, so they have <laughs> if you like slug mixed with cherry cough syrup, then you would love this smell of jelly slugs. I like it. Oh. Oh. Mm, ice cream. No melt ice cream. Wizards can savor their Sundays for as long as they wish with no melt ice cream. Every muggle's dream on a hot summer day. This chilled treat is stored right in the honeydew cellars, not too far yeah. from the secret passageway back to Hogwarts. Ooh, let's smell this no melt ice cream. Mommy? Yes? Mommy? Yes? Mommy? Mommy, or not Papa, why now? I'm also a black eye. It just smells like a book. It smells like a book. No smell to the no melt ice cream. Let me try. Eek! Don't be alarmed. This creepy crawly is actually a delicious caramel confection. Anyone who can look past the rather unappetizing appearance will experience the perfect sweet and salty crunch of cockroach clusters. But if cockroach clusters aren't your favorite go-to treat, you can pick up the natural predator, peppermint toads. These bite-sized minty morsels are sure to put a little extra pop in your step. Let's first try the cockroach clusters. Smells all right. Yes, it's pretty good. Let's try the peppermint toads. Very minty. Smells like my grandmother's house. Sweet 
treats, exotic flavors, magic in every bite, there's no doubt that Honey Dukes is one of the best things about the wizarding world. But then there's taste Mommy. to try and sense Mommy. to savor. What? Mommy! Huzzah! We shall all want to run for Honey Dukes to come Mommy, up with another extraordinary sweet that we'll have witches and wizards lined up around the corner. The end.